Thanks, Alice. Boa tarde. Uh, life can seem, and animal behavior can seem, oh, no sound. <laughs> But I'm going to try to make it simple here. My overriding questions here with Nick Oakley for organization of courtship behavior are, is it complex as has been found in song repertoires or simple? And then a second one, does variation in courtship behavior depend on context? For example, whether males are by themselves with a female present or in a bout that's going to lead to a copulation? Or instead, are they driven, variation driven by personality? That is consistent individual differences across contexts, what's been called behavioral syndromes. So a little background on gold-winged mannequins, like about 85% of the species in this beautiful family. Uh, they have a lek mating system. They occur on forested slopes from 500 to about 2,100 meters, both east and west of the Andes and the northern Andes. We studied them at the uh, Reserva Milpe al noroeste de Quito, a uh, más o menos 1,100 metros. I'm going to talk about four main behavioral elements, but I'll have several others, for example, in network analysis. Audible log approach display. You'll see a gorgeous video by Nick of that. ALAD, we call them. I can abbreviate that with an A for reasons you'll see soon. Side to side bows with a B, head down bows with an H, neck twists with an N. And from the video, we can get this string of behavioral elements, B, 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 bow, 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 A lad, copulation, neck, 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 and so forth. So let's watch some video, male's bowing, he's gonna go off do an A lad, uh, comes in, head down bows, neck twists. So really rapid. Uh, but Nick, uh, at great cost, because his prof was going to kill him if he ruined the camera, got this beautiful footage. See those golden wings. Female would be there. There's no female in this one. And then he turns over. So he turns in the air, flashing those wings, turns in the air, and faces her both times. That's the A-lad. So we had 312 video bouts that were suitable, at least 60 seconds long, 198 male-only bouts, one, sometimes more, but usually one male, code those in blue, 100 bouts with females present, code those in red, and 14 bouts with a total of 24 copulations, code those in black. And most of the birds were individually color banded, so we could identify them from the video. I'm going to start with networks from ethograms. So an ethogram has behaviors, transitions between behaviors from bow to head down bow to a lab to something else. So these nodes in the network are the be discrete behavioral elements and the directed arrows are the transitions between them. The MAL network composite from 198 bouts was very dense. 80% of the edges that could occur did occur, that's 145 edges. And then effective degree, an obscure uh, metric from some guy named McDonald, uh, the edge weights, the effective degree goes way down when there's high variance in the edge weight, thick edges there. So instead of 145 for the effective degree, we get 25. The COP network, and this is not due to sampling, because because sampling just 14 of these 198 would get exactly the same picture. The COP networks are much less dense. 25% of the possible edges are present. There are only 50 kinds of transitions in the network. And the effective degree, the effective number of edges is only about three. Bow, 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 very heavy. Neck, 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 very heavy. And all the others, effectively end, uh, adding to one, so three versus 25. So cop bouts, very low effective degree, low density, simplicity. Successful bouts are simpler. Keep it simple. 
And again, not because of uh, sample size, because resampling these, we get the same story. And that's true for all these analyses. I want to go through entropy pretty quickly. High entropy means high surprise, diversity of elements, considerable randomness, low entropy, very predictable, repetitive, ordered. Male bouts, the blue, high entropy, sometimes almost up to the theoretical maximum. Cop bouts, very low entropy, uh, ordered, repetitive, repeated elements. And that's in contrast to what we find in song repertoires. For example, in Mockingbirds, where high entropy is linked to reproductive success. Here, low entropy is linked to success. And the male cop displays are quite simple. I want to introduce another measure, compressibility. It's really important in um, internet transmission of data of any sort, images, text, uh, sound, um, the bad music you're hearing in this talk. Uh, Huffman encoding, I can't talk about, but I'd love to tell you about it. A really elegant thing by a master's student at MIT years ago. Liv and Zempel added another piece, sliding windows that would detect repeated motifs. And we think this gives it a bit of an edge over entropy. Cop bouts, very compressible because of repeated elements and repeated motifs. Mal bouts, the blue line, not very compressible because they're diverse, random, sort of slightly disorderly. So high compressibility, repeated motifs and elements for successful displays, they're simple. Jarrow string distance from the record linkage uh, uh, literature. Conventions many times the size of our AOC, very important. How do we uh, link records from disparate sources? Jarrow uh, was trying to uh, get census data organized. Ronald M. Smith, Ronald Matthews Smith, Ronald Smith, Ron Smith. If the Jaro distance is small, that's because two strings, here are my strings of little behavioral elements, are quite similar. That's a small distance. When they're very different, we get a large Jaro distance. Now, if personality were more important than context dependence, then we'd expect that within male, Jaro distances would be small. His uh, bouts would be similar regardless of what kind they were, um, small Jarrow distances, whereas between male distances would be large. So this is what we might expect. Within males, thank you, Elsie, uh, mal and cop bouts should be low Jarrow distances, whereas between males, both mal and cop bouts should have large Jarrow distances. The alternative is if context is more important than personality, then within context differences should be small, between context differences should be large. And what we see is exactly that. Large differences in Jaro distances between context and small differences within contexts. And most interesting of all to me is that a male's own cop-outs are more similar to those of other males than they are to his own cop bouts. So simple, consistent pattern for cop, regardless of male or female identity. This goes across 14 females. A cop bout is a cop bout is a cop bout across all these females. A pattern that you follow. So networks, entropy, compressibility, simple, not complex. Jaro, variation by context, not personality. But the ALADs, why do they do that? How way back talked about the frugivory of fear. Mannequins, which Doug Levy termed gulpers because they swallow their food, may need rapid maneuvers to avoid predation at predictable fruit tree locations. I think it'd be really fun, borrow my camera, to try high-speed video at fruit trees, especially in the event of a predation attempt. So let's watch some video here. Here we have a rattlesnake striking at a kangaroo rat. Bam! Fast maneuver. 
Go rattlesnake. <laughs> It'd be fun to see. I doubt that mannequins uh, can uh, kick tiny hawks, but it'd be fun to see if they can do these rapid evasive maneuvers like the kangaroo rats. I'd like to thank a million people um, who did far more than I, and if I have time, I'm happy to try to answer some questions.